Hey guys, what's up? I uh, just wanted to do a behind the scenes video like I promised. Um, I want to try to get this out by the end of the week. Letting you guys know uh, just how exactly we did this video. Um, this amnesia video. Um, I came up with the idea, well originally, <laughs> I mean it's a school project so Halloween uh, we had to do sort of a horror film. You know everybody tries to do like zombies or something. I thought no that's kind of lame. Why would I do that? And then I remembered, oh wait, there's this amazing game that I played on the computer over the summer. It's called Amnesia the Dark Descent. And it is a game, you play as this character, his name is Daniel, and he doesn't remember anything. Of course, that's what amnesia means. Um, he wakes up in this, like, castle environment, and he has to basically get out. And while you're going through this castle trying to find a way to get out, um, there's this monster thing that you kind of have to watch out for, and he kind of roams the hall sometimes, he'll attack you, you can't fight it, you have to either, you have to run and hide. The best survival horror game I've ever played, um, the scariest video game I've ever played. Literally pause the game because you're so scared to continue on. That is powerful. So basically the, uh... Our, this is our second project for uh, advanced video production. I didn't start working on this till maybe uh, five or so days before it, the video was actually due. When we were assigned the project, I kind of knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do something with amnesia, but I wasn't sure what or how I was going to do it. I wanted to take elements from the game and kind of put it into the video. So basically, here's how we filmed it. Um, we used this magical device right here. This little camera right here is what we used to record it with. This is called the GoPro Hero. Um, this is actually the GoPro Hero 2. Uh, funny story about this, they have GoPro Hero 1 that we originally bought. Um, and I think maybe like two days before we were going to go film, they announced this. GoPro Hero 2. What they did for the GoPro Hero 2 was they improved the low lighting situation, which I thought was probably the most essential thing for this video. Um, these cameras don't do low lighting very well. Um, you pretty much, if you want them to look, if you want the video quality to look really good, um, you're going to need bright daylight. Um, that's mostly what these were made for: is sports and activities. I mean, you can mount this camera to just about anything. Um, they have all different kinds of mounts and adhesives, um, and it's really more for, like, sports stuff. But this is basically how we did it. Um, we have an adhesive mount stuck to the bottom of the helmet here. I don't know how well you can see that, but... And, um, it... it this is just the very basic mount, um, just attached to it, and we can pivot it back and forth. And it just covers my right eye, you tighten it. <coughs> And what this allows us to do, it has a wide-angle lens right here, which is also very important. Um, I think it's like 130 degrees around there. So it's a 130 degree view, um, 1080p high definition, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second if you do 720p. But what this allows us to do is because it's the wide-angle lens and it allows us to go hands-free and that really helped out with the entire video a lot. But what I was saying earlier is uh, we bought the GoPro Hero 1 and then they announced this one the very next day. Um, so we went out and bought it. Uh, we returned the original, of course, and we got our money back, and it's the same price as the original, so why would you not get the GoPro Hero 2? I really like this camera a lot. I'm probably gonna use this for vlogs. Sound quality-wise, this is not a good camera for sound quality. So yeah, that's the camera that we used. Uh, if you have any more questions about the GoPro Hero 2, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, this was this was also um, kind of an event in the game where Daniel picks up his first note um, in the game, and this was the first note. I, I just uh, kind of typed it all out onto one piece of paper and printed it out and this would essentially became a prop. So basically it all started with the uh, script that I had to write. Um, I believe the script is over 1400 words long. If you guys want, um, I'll put some sort of way that you guys can look at the script if you want. Um, I'll put it in the description, I'll figure something out.
Come here. Come into the light. We'll go to the light. It's Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, no, there you are. We are here in this lovely, wonderful home. That's about to be turned into a scary movie. Yes. We're gonna, this is where we are shooting the uh, Halloween video. I'm gonna turn on, turn on some lights here. There's some lights. There's a very nice kitchen. Um, you may recognize this hallway. Here's where it's all it's all starting out. What? Is he? I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> Awesome. Hello, Qua. Hello, Gilda. <laughs> uh, I see a car. What do you see? There's a car in the window. Okay. So we're planning on scaring Trevor and AJ and Joseph when they get here, right? Yeah. Wait, where's the ninja star? I don't know. You threw it up here earlier. Like, I threw it at Qua. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna film. <laughs> reaction. See how bad we can scare him. Wait, you do this the behind the scenes for your film for class? Yes. Well, this won't be in the class, but... Okay. Yeah, you too. Turn this off. Okay, they're not here yet. But, when they do get here... Dun, dun, dun. And my spot next to Pandy. There's a the giant pandas. Freaky. Oh, and he's made of fluffy and stuffy. Why? So I can get them on the back. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna scare him. Can you see me? Not really, no. Alright, so right off the bat, this first part of the uh, film starts, is actually the very beginning of the game, is what I was trying to mimic here, uh, when Daniel is waking up on the ground not knowing where he is, and he, he keeps hearing these noises in his head, um, and eventually he, <clears throat> he finds this note that was written by himself, and slowly over time, uh, throughout the game, he begins to remember why he's in the castle. Now, if you look carefully, um, and you actually do read this, um, Daniel does not actually say 
everything that's on this paper in the video. Um, I had to kind of cut out a little bit of it in order to get the part where he, where he says, your former self Daniel. Um, I wanted that part to be said right as he was putting the note down, so I kind of had to cut a little bit of that off. This is the very beginning of the uh, <laughs> bright light in front of the camera. And this part is supposed to mimic um, him kind of, in the beginning of the game, he has this weird moment where he just kind of falls to the ground and he hears all these noises in his head. Um, so that's what I was trying to mimic here too. Um, like I said earlier, I tried to get as much uh, different elements from the game, uh, such as this leaning part, because I'm sure anybody that does play the Amnesia game leans a lot. Um, so I had that in there like once or twice, I believe. And, uh... This is a very nice house to film in. <laughs> if you actually, if you, if we did have the lights on, <laughs> it's a very nice house. There's a lake view right outside all these windows over here. It's very nice. So I was like, this is a perfect place to film. And so this is just him kind of walking through, kind of seeing like where is he, trying to get his bearings and everything. So this upcoming part here was actually, I really wanted to recreate it. Um, this part is actually in the very first amnesia trailer I think there's only like one trailer but basically he picks up an object in the trailer and he hears this girl scream and he drops it like that and um, so I was really trying to recreate the trailer at this part um, he goes to different doors and uh, eventually he finds the girl but then the girl gets killed and he, Daniel gets scared and frightened and uh, he runs away from the monster so this is him, he runs away, he finds a door, the door ends up being locked, so now he's, he has to uh, find a way, maybe find a key of some sort, so he's going to go explore around a little bit more, basically. Um, now this scene right here uh, is basically him going down into the basement to get the key that will unlock the front door. Um, there's a candle right here for a good reason. Um, originally we had planned for this candle to be blown out by... Uh, this door right over here, um, because of the door would swing open. Sadly, unfortunately, we were not able to do that part very well, and you'll see why um, coming up. But as I, once he gets, once Daniel gets down in the basement down here, he begins to hear this noise of what sounds to be um, like a man being sawn in half. And uh, the reason I wanted, really wanted that, I really wanted this noise to be um, put into the video, is because. For me personally, that was like the most like terrifying thing that I experienced personally while playing Amnesia. Um, you know, because in the game you get closer to this object, and um, as you get closer, the noise speeds up and it gets faster and faster. And uh, by the time uh, it gets to the third part, where it's just going as fast as possible, my heart was absolutely racing in the game. So I really wanted to like kind of mimic that as best as I could and put it in the video so that other people might be able to uh, feel what I felt. Um, yeah, this is the basement, and uh, it's really dark. But that's the point of this video. Uh, it's a Halloween video. It's supposed to be dark. Uh, but like I said earlier, this, these GoPro Hero cameras don't do low lighting very well. Um, granted, the Gro GoPro Hero 2 is better... Um, obviously, I mean, why would you not buy it? Um, so that part right there was him breaking down because he could hear the noise being sped up, and he's just, like, so scared he has to stop for a second. Um, but anyway, uh, the GoPro Hero 2 is at the same price as the GoPro Hero 1s, so why would you not buy it? It's a great upgrade. <clears throat> so this part, he finally finds the key, and uh, what I did was, as soon as he picked it up, the sound goes away. Um, so that's what I wanted to do for that. That's why the sound disappears. It's because he's like, he found it. You know, now he can get out. Um, so he puts the key in his pocket, and now he has the key so he can just unlock the door automatically. He hears a noise. Uh, you know, he walks a little bit further. He hears footsteps above him. Because the monster's coming. He knows that he has the key. And so, right here I wanted to show this part. Um, we did a little transition right here, boom, right there, and the reason being um, was because that that was what I was talking about earlier um, when we tried to get the door to swing open so that it would blow out the candle. Sadly, we could not do that. 
Carson is actually hiding behind the chair, um, and he was trying to blow out the candle, but he couldn't. Um, so we had to do a little transition to where the candle was out. Um, so yeah, Carson did help out on this. Usually I do have him in all of... I have him make some sort of cameo or appearance in my school projects, but sadly for this one, uh, this was an all-out kind of single experience. I mean, not even I was in this technically, even though that's my arm. <laughs> but anyway, yes, Carson's hiding right behind that chair. Uh, maybe if you look closely, you can, might be able to see him. I don't think you really can, though. Um, but anyway, yeah, he hears the monster, he runs back downstairs, and he goes to hide. And this is a huge element of the game, wherever you hear the monster, you gotta go hide and wait for him to go away. And I tried to also mimic that as best I could in the video. And eventually the monster leaves, he's like... He basically makes a bunch of noises, um, because he's trying to find Daniel. He's like throwing chairs across the room and breaking doors and everything. And that's a huge part of the game. Um, so Daniel, he hear, he doesn't hear the monster anymore. He's going to go see if the cuss clear, you know. Um, but really, we speed it up here. The monster's hiding right over here. There's a room back here. Um, and he's kind of hiding back there. He's waiting. Uh, so Daniel gets upstairs. monster's behind him, so he has no choice but to go forward. <clears throat> and this part was kind of rushed. Um, but again, like I said, in ten minutes, I think... This was a good 10 minutes spent. Um, I tried to get as many elements into the game as, I mean, into the film, from the game, into the film as possible. Um, but yeah, I do feel like this part might have been a little bit rushed. Uh, but basically, he's running away. He has the key, so technically he can just unlock the door. And I want to explain the ending, because I'm sure people have questions about that, too. Um, basically, the ending was, he's he hears the noise, and he slowly turns around and uh, he gets killed by the monster. Now, you're saying, well, wait a minute, there was no monster there, he just kind of fainted. Um, well, the whole um, idea of amnesia is it's not so much a horror game where things kind of like pop up, pop out at you. Um, it's more like in-your-head kind of horror, and that's what I kind of want to do. That's what I meant by this. Sometimes fear is all in your head. So, for Daniel, in the video, um, Everything was just in his head, you know. He was crazy, basically. And, um, that's kind of a true thing about life. Sometimes fear is all in your head. And, uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, one last thing that I want to note is that every single sound, um, in this video comes straight from the game itself. Um, all the music, all the breathing, all the voices, all the noises, all the footsteps, everything, every single sound in this video comes straight from the game itself. Um, so that was, I really wanted to try to challenge myself to do that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any like more questions, uh, be sure to let me know. And um, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, special thanks to my good friend who helped me out. He let me film in his house to, uh, you know, do the whole video, and to Carson for another thing. He, I also, not only did I have him hiding behind the chair, but I had him closing certain doors that I would go through. Um, like the part where uh, Daniel's going through the hallway to find the girl. When he turns uh, left down that long hallway, the door is closed. That door at the end of the hallway is actually the door that Daniel first comes out of. But see, I made it seem like it's a different area because he walked around and back. Um, if, I know that probably doesn't make much sense. But um, I had him kind of close doors to make it seem like the areas were different and make it also seem like um, the monster was closing the doors. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I highly recommend you go check out this game, really. This whole video um, was based off the video game. Um, it's called Amnesia the Dark Ascent. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. You can download it on Steam. Uh, there's a demo that you can play. You don't need a very powerful computer to run it. Um, and you guys should just go check it out. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.
17th May, 1839, early afternoon. It has come to my attention that there's been an accident. Daniel, my research assistant, has been trapped inside the burial chamber. All men are ordered to lift the massive stone hinder. Recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. After some preparation, the workers hoisted the heavy stone with block and tackle. Daniel is delirious, and his mind is slowly recovering. I've decided to have him leave for England. It would be foolish of me to risk not just his life, but the expedition's success by keeping him here. 20th May, 1839. Those imbeciles! How dare they sacrifice my expedition to their superstition! The camp is in chaos, and they blame the orb. They won't get their hands on it. I shot one of them to put them in their place. It can't be helped. They are animals, all of them. They killed four men in the most gruesome way. Their skinless bodies torn apart. They say the desert took them. But I know murder when I see it. I have sent Abdullah to contact the French in Algier. 22nd May, 1839. That thing is after me. It's been hunting me for days. But I keep out of its trail, so I will persevere. I can see a settlement at the edge of the desert. I'm getting closer. I can see it, but it is not me. It is Abdullah. Through his eyes I see, his mind I hear. Confined to myself, I see only death, dressed in the orb's darkest shadow.